Hi guys, welcome you all to my channel Explore Edu to T. The next topic that we'll be learning in random signal analysis is going to be binomial probability law. It's a very important law. It is not only a part of this subject, but also in probability you will be using it on a very large extent in mathematics, not only in your engineering, but also in 11th and 12th grade. So all the students who are having this topic can make a note of it. These notes are uploaded in the description box of this YouTube channel or YouTube video. So please download it from there. Also, the formulas related to this particular law will be uploaded on my Instagram page. All the formula sheets, all the short notes are uploaded on my Instagram page as well. So please, uh, the links are given down of my Instagram page uh, in the description box. Please, uh, you can see my Instagram page and if you like it, please follow me on Instagram as well. So let's begin with random signal analysis. So in that binomial probability law. So what do you mean by binomial probability law? Please understand it very well. It's a very frequently used law. There are numericals that will be solving after this like this one. You can solve a probability problem in many ways. But one of the most common ways which are always chosen to solve a probability question is by binomial probability law. So let's try to understand. So let K be the number of successes in N independent Bernoulli trials. So even Bernoulli, uh, you need not understand that very well right now. When we're learning about different kind of distributions, we'll be understanding that. But you should understand that there are N independent trials out of which K is success. Okay. So the probability of getting K success is given by a probability law. NCK, you have learned permutation of combination, so it is NCK, P raised to K and Q raised to N minus K. So the binomial probability law states that if there are N independent trials and K is the number of success in that, then the probability of getting K success is given as NCK, P raised to K and Q raised to N minus K. Now, P stands for probability of something happening and Q is equal to 1 minus P. So, just remember this formula very well. It's a very important formula. You should know this formula very, very, very well. The formula for finding out K success in N trials is given as NCK P raised to K Q raised to N minus K where P is the probability and Q is 1 minus that probability. So let's read the question. The question says, let K be the number of active speakers in a group of 8 non-interacting speakers. Okay, so there are 8 non-interacting speakers and K is the number of active speakers in them. So I repeat myself, there are 8 non-interacting speakers. And K is the number of active speakers in them. Suppose a speaker is active with probability 1 by 3. Find the probability that the number of active speakers are greater than 6. So what you have to find out is that in a group of 8 non-interacting speakers, what is the probability that the number of active speakers are going to be greater than 6. So the formula says as you know NCK P raised to K and Q raised to N minus K. So N stands for the total number of speakers that is 8. The K here like I have written 6 we will be understanding better now. P is given as 1 by 3. And Q is, P is 1 by 3, right? It is given in the probability. And Q is 1 minus P, that is 2 by 3. So what is the probability of P of K being greater than 6? That is equal to P of K is equal to 7 and P of K is equal to 8. So N C K, so N is the total number of trial. K is the number of success in that. So the number of success can be 7 the number of success can be 8 also. So it is 8 C 7, P raised to 7 and Q raised to N minus 7. Plus 8 C 8, 
p raised to 8 and q raised to n minus 8 and just try to find out the answer. So if it is greater than 6, it cannot be 6. It has to be greater than 6. So it is 7 and 8 because there are total 8 trials. In such a way you can get the final answer. So I hope I am very clear with this. This is a binomial probability law. Get a good understanding about it. And uh, if you like this video, do not forget to like, share, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Follow me on Instagram as well. The links are given down in the description box. Thank you so much guys. God bless.